the power of GIS is being able to bring lots of different data sets and, and, and analyze those data sets in, in one space. So quite often there's the only commonality between data sets is geography. As the UK, our corporate sponsors of Walking with the Wounded and produced all the online mapping for their uh, expeditions. If you were looking at using GIS from a historical context and maybe using some of the data from, from the RGS archive, um, there's a, it's, it's a great way of comparing information and contrasting information to look for different patterns in the data. So um, what we did with the mapping was take the information from Nansen's map, we digitised the route, overlaid that on a contemporary map, and then you could compare what Nansen did with the route of the Walking with a Wounded team. So what we're looking at on the screen is the uh, web application that we built um, for the Walking with a Wounded team. We can see uh, the planned route of the team and also the, the route that they took. And if we were to click on the line, we'd see the blog entries that they um, posted every evening as they as they set camp, so we can get get an interactive experience of what they what they'd uh, gone through during the day. What I can also do is overlay the historical mapping, and this in this case I've just picked up the Nansen map, and we can now see uh, information from from the historical map, such as the ice extent, and maybe we can analyse the difference between the ice extent um, from a hundred years ago and the ice extent now, so looking at the historical data to, to uh, extract um, information for, for science today. From an undergraduate perspective, GIS is a, a great way of looking at um, a subject in different ways and maybe unlocking uh, information that, that wouldn't normally be, be uncovered.